And just to clarify, if any of you people were wondering, which probably most of you were, the reason why I'm putting the notch in is so that whenever the lathe is spinning, all the oil and debris can fly off and hit there instead of the floor. Now this, this will make it a lot easier, but the problem is now, my hand is hitting. There's only about less than an inch's worth of gap. So I'm going to have to take some of the spacers off from underneath so that my hand is not hitting this every time I'm moving the carriage down the track. Which will probably not matter too much, but whenever I'm having to do a cut very close up and I'm having to reel it back, my hand is still hitting. So I knew I was gonna have to do this. It was just a matter of when. Also, in the back over here, it is, um, the one piece is actually touching the base of the arm that holds the pulley and the motor. So there's just about, I'd say a half an inch worth of extra gap there, but that plate will help to catch most of that too. So, which what is, what that is, is just a small piece of a flat stock that I cut up and trimmed so it could trim down in there. So oil and, uh, fluids would not drip down in between and to the back of the lathe. So, yep, that's where we are right now. Another day, Just, uh, yesterday we got this plate all cleaned up, ready to work, get welded. And um, so what we're gonna do is get the alignment, make sure it's to the height with those two little plates right there. And um, then we'll uh, I'll get it welded up, adjusted to need be, and then we'll get that completely welded up with that plate right there. And we'll get the sides cut out with, uh, use that plate, and then we also cleaned up. So, that's just about the plan, and uh, none to it but to do it. Also, apologies, the lighting is not the best in here. I'm planning to get some nice lights, but uh, it all costs money, so. We all know it, don't girl. Yeah, we should be.
welded up and grinded flat. Now we just got to do the uh, other side. Get a three inch screw notched out for the um, sump pump to go in so that the uh, oil can be pumped. And then we will be done. So main part of this is pretty much done and now it's just the uh, reinforcement.